Hey guys, how's it going? Alan here at the Gibson Garage YouTube channel. Thanks for following along. Please like and subscribe if you're into stuff like this, just normal repairs and then, well it seems to be all I'm doing lately is just repairs. I don't got any time to work on my own stuff. But I do sometimes work on things like scooters and trikes and go-karts. I've got a quad in the back. I still want to turn into a go-kart. I just need to find time. But maybe with your guys' help, you share the channel, you subscribe, like the videos, my channel can grow. I can do more of these cool things instead of you know doing stuff like this to survive. Um, I've got heads to pull off of this. That video's coming out. I've got uh, heater hoses on the Dodge I'm replacing today. That's not a Dodge, that's a Chrysler town and country with a 3.3 liter. He's got a ballooning hose, so I'm gonna swap those hoses out for him and put in a restrictor that needs to go in for the heater hose. And in, in exchange, he's going to take these to a, his work where he can carve out some recesses for some bearing. I'm going to put bearings on that for a very special project in the near future, hopefully, but that's also another video. But right now, uh, follow along with me as I replace these heater uh, or these two radiator hoses and a heater core restrictor, or it's like a heater hose restrictor. Uh. up on ramps you can easily see the bottom hose which is where we're going to start and of course I'm gonna put the clip way over here on the inside so that'll be fun got my bucket down here that went in the mouth There we go. There's a little lock on it now. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll go that way. Nope. Here comes the mess. Maybe. Got a squirter. There we go. Oh, it never works. I got it all over my arm. A little bit of a mess, but I'm getting it. So you want to compare your old one to the new one. Um, sometimes these have to be trimmed just a little bit on either side. This one looks good, so we're going to throw it in there. Another thing to look for on this particular car is that the radiator end is larger than the engine side. And uh, the hose clamps are different sizes as well if you're using the factory ones. So make sure you don't mix those up so they seal properly. I'll get that one on there. Oh my God. Ah, so scary. Just don't let go of it. You'll be all right. Oh, ho, ho, it's going to do that. Well, maybe that's all I need. There you go. 
Okay, let's do a little adjusting. And we're on. Boom. Now this one, I actually managed to lock in the open position. So, we'll slip that on. There we go. We'll put you right... Oh, get on there. There. Right. Righteous. There we go, right there. Turn you a little bit. Boom. I'm gonna put this back together. And we're gravy. Now, top side, we got hose on the driver's side. I'm gonna get my own pliers out of the way. Oh, huh. Well, I accidentally closed that thing a little bit, so now it doesn't, oh, there it goes. I lied. Just gotta get my own pliers out of the way. This is the one that's ballooning. That's bad. Balloons right here, oh. It feels like about as stiff as a balloon. Okay, now this other one is a little more difficult to get to because it's tucked back here and there's a fan. Now, I hate these clamps just like everybody else, but I think I'd be lying if I said they weren't better than the worm clamps. They are hard to use. They are a pain in the ass. I don't like them, but I think they're better. Okay, got the clamps locked in the open position. I'll be honest, that is easier than anything else, too. Easier than trying to tighten a worm clamp. Give her the old screwdriver. Make sure it's in place. Gosh. Took forever in a day. Whew, hoses are done, man. Now we just gotta do the heater restrictor, which would normally be sitting right here in line in this line. This is the restrictor part number from Dorney. But just like it sounds, it just makes the hole smaller to, that'll make the heater core more efficient. If it just flows through there a little slower, it'll, it'll let the heat come out a little better into the cabin, I guess. Beautiful. Looks good. Ooh, put myself in a pickle there, didn't I? Boom. All right, filling her back up. Might need more than a gallon. 
Maybe more than a gallon came out. That's not the color of it. It had a little bit of oil in it, but... We're not going straight to the floor, are we? No, okay. Not straight to the floor. Yeah, that's on stuff. Okay. Well, we're out. Damn it. I need another one. Well, I will get that other one and I will bleed it out. It's as simple as just letting it sit there in one of these buckets until it stops bubbling. Um, and in the rest, you know, you have a plug here. So you'll plug it if you have stuff left over and it's done bubbling, just plug it, take it over to your cooling bottle and let it drain back into your cooling bottle. Um, but that's gonna do it for now. You saw the repair. So that's all we're really looking for. For those of you who stuck in, stuck in there this long, thank you. And again, please subscribe, like if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.